what's up everyone so this is a gunpla short people ask me what do i use for inspiration in making gunpla and my techniques and you could pretty much go on youtube and you know pretty much see a lot of people making awesome um customizations to their gunpla um for those of you who are not familiar with gunpla it's uh their model kits based on the series Kido Senshi Gundam or Mobile Suit Gundam and they are a Japanese modeling kit that now people can find in the US I believe now uh, in the United States I believe they sell them in Hobby Lobby and Target stores and Walmart I think but uh, back then a lot of people used to go through you know through their various hobby or modeling shop but I guess now they sell them everywhere, so that's pretty awesome. But yeah, uh, you know, I usually get my inspiration uh, through uh, books like these. So uh, this is a Gunpla Technique Bible, and you can purchase it on Amazon. Again, you can go on YouTube and just do it for free and watch people modifying it on their own. But for me, this was a big help. So. Um, as you can see here, this one can be ordered through Amazon Japan. I think they do regular updates of this, so you can order it. Uh, if you have an Amazon account, you can actually order from any, any place in, on Amazon throughout the world. It's just a shipping you have to pay for. Uh, back then, uh, shipping wasn't so much, but after the pandemic, it seems like the shipping costs have jump through the roof so um, you might want to check out a Kino Kuniya store in uh, that you could order from to see if they have it in stock and then ship it to you. Uh, Kino Kuniya is a uh, Japanese bookstore actually there's Japanese bookstores throughout the United States uh, from California to Boston but for me I have been ordering from Amazon Japan uh, it's best if you order a lot so you can you know get your money's worth when it comes to shipping but anyway as for this booklet here it's pretty much up to the time where uh gundam i think builders or try this series came out or the and the uh, gunpla came out but um as we look at the various chapters here they really go into detail explaining the difference between the HG, RG, SD, um, MG. So you'll see a lot of video websites that go into detail on this. But SD are these little small, uh, easier and cheaper type of gunpla. Uh, the next one is, of course, the... Um, well, this is the SD, but... I don't see these anymore so you usually see the RGs and the HGs um, the HGs are the ones that uh, are middle price uh, usually they're sold for a thousand or two thousand yen but of course with the price of plastic now it's almost doubled but um, for Target or Hobby Lobby which tend to have sales you can take advantage of the prices because you can get them really cheap RGs are the better ones to get. I recommend if you really, after you, you've done your a few HGs and you feel that you're confident to move up, I recommend going for RG. Uh, these tend to be a little more expensive uh, these days, but geez, when I got them, they were just as mentioned here, 2,500 to 3,000 yen. Now the MG, uh, that this is a step up. Um, I think the difference is this one, the HG, you can get done within hours. RG, mm, a few days. MG, this will take you weeks. Some people weeks. I mean, if you're a hardcore person, you probably could do it in a matter of days, putting a lot of time into it, but it's hardcore. So the next one are these huge ones right here. Perfect grades. Perfect grades are going to take a long time. They're more expensive, but these are for the hardcore, the hardcore people uh, who are really, really into um, building. And 
don't matter taking their time they're good at going at their own pace and uh, then of course you got the mega uh, the big 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 size ones um, let's see here so I will go into my tools and other things later but I mean really um, a difference you could say uh, between an HG and an MG you'll see right here see this inner frame um, RG and MG's tend to have an inner frame like this HG's don't it's just plastic you assemble you get a lot of plastic you snap in and you're good to go okay let's see here oh and you'll you'll see a lot of scales like one one uh, 144 one over 100 um, HG's tend to be in the one 144 scale range but let's see here okay weathering tools this is the one that uh, as mentioned I, I get my inspiration from when you start building a gunpla it's gonna be up to you what kind of uh, you know builder you want to be uh, for me I I prefer to have my Gundam modified a little bit um, I don't like things are always pristine it depends on the model I like them weathered I like to see the rust I like to see the battle scars the soot the smoke and so I will buy uh, certain uh, things to make it happen so uh, as you can see here uh, you can see um, a lot of people use little um, pens or or brushes to make panel lines for me that's that's important but for me this is my style the weathered look I like to see the the dirt the soot the the again the damage uh, that a Gundam goes through through battle I like to see that versus something pristine like this but everyone you know has their own style let's see here okay this one here you know this one this Bible really goes into detail from the way to um, clip off the parts from a runner this one goes into people who actually like to make their own panel lines using a blade this one is about um, using a little sander to let's say that you clip off something there's a little nub a little little tiny piece of plastic hanging out you want to sand that down to make things smooth um, there are times when I think I got it all right I snapped everything right and then when I take a macro photo I find out oh great there's a little tiny piece just a little plastic bump and that kind of drives me up the wall I, I didn't notice that at first and it's after I sprayed the mat after I did all the coating it's just uh, um, yeah you'll see other things here people applying decals how to do stickers there are various uh, ways <laughs> and uh, a lot of the uh, Tamiya products what they do this really this book really goes into detail so you guys hear some noise got a big aquarium behind me so here it is about um, clipping off those runners sanding so this book is really awesome um, it's definitely worth it it really goes into detail of how people uh, can use the various um, products that are available to enhance your Gundam but again you can go online YouTube and see people doing it for free but for me I like the detail and yes it's in Japanese but really I think the pictures are enough to show how things are done um, especially if you're learning Japanese it's also a positive thing here here's one example here from this booklet like when people 
put on when they get their gunpla. You get this basic head, doesn't look all that great. And here of how this uh, book illustrates of how you add those little marks. And it really helps to have these Gundam pens. I'm going to do a uh, little short video on that as well. So there's another one right here. You know, a lot of people, when they get their, let's say their shields, you get this basic plastic white. And here's the panel lines of that. People going to the, well, this book showing, you know, how to make sure those are detailed as well. Here's the panel lines. So there are a lot of videos on panel lines. There are a lot of videos on what people do. But if you want a concise booklet that really goes into it, I really recommend this uh, Gunpla uh, Bible. It's definitely worth it. Again, um, you could order. I ordered mine from Amazon. And... Uh, yeah, it's Amazon Japan and it really works. Okay, here's a good one right here. Before and after, how to get those really good scuff marks and uh, using this little... This thing right here to make those little uh, marks, make the weathered look. Here it goes, another one here. I like that little dirt. I like that little rust. So, anyway, uh, yeah, that's this is the book. How much does it cost? Uh, right here, it shows it's 1,600 yen. So in Japan, that's cheap. If you're gonna get it from another store, they would probably charge. Uh, they probably add the shipping there, about five bucks, so maybe 2,300 yen. So. With the U.S. conversion, it's a lot cheaper, of course, now, since the Jap Japanese yen is so... Well, actually, it's going back up again, but the it's appreciating instead of depreciating as of today. But, um, yeah, you can go on Amazon Japan. It's good if you're going to order something more than just one thing. So get your shipping shipping dollars, uh, make, make your shipping count, because shipping, I believe, at the time when I ordered this, it was $17.00 to ship from Japan to the US the good thing about Amazon Japan is that it was so quick you know you usually you get it within a day or two um, they're very good with shipping for you know even though you you know you don't select overnight sometimes you get it quicker than than expected um, well not a day maybe give it about three to five days at least but uh, Amazon Japan like Amazon US <laughs> I've ordered Amazon through Amazon Japan so many times that it always amazes me how quick they are. But anyway, again, uh, this is 1600 yen. So if you add the shipping, it comes back to about 27, uh, you know, about 2700 under 3000 yen, which is 30 bucks. Seems like a lot, but again, you want to order multiple things when you order from Amazon Japan. This is a book I highly recommend. It's called the Gunpla Technique Bible, and yeah, take care.